absolute super troopers right here. Do you think they could be here for? I uh, I don't know. There's like no one's really doing anything. I uh, like in regards to like protesting and like actual. Yeah, yeah. Like we should be like making noise. We should be getting people like looking over like more signs. Like I know it's raining, but when it's not raining, like no one's really doing anything. Like you gotta organize and be louder. Well, things are starting to move down in the states. Oh, yeah. Um, I read last night that there's, uh, I don't know if you know online, the Young Turks. Yeah, yeah. But they, he, he started the, uh, the Wolf Pack last night. So he's getting everybody to volunteer, sign up and everything like that. So uh, people actually take it upon themselves to come down and do something instead of just wandering around and shit, right? Yeah. But since it is an online news source that that's coming from, it takes effort from all of us to actually get it out there and share it and spread it and all that sort yeah. of thing. And we're back with John, who is now an actual subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Which is awesome. Thank you very much. No um, since it's raining out today, I thought I'd come in and ask him another, another question. And uh, basically, um, over the past month and over the past almost a week now that you've been here and everything like that, do you see people's attitude towards being here changing? That's a really good question. Um, yes, I do. Um, mostly in a positive direction. Um, when we got here, I think this was new for a lot of people. We do have some you know, people here amongst us who uh, some have been down to the actual Occupy movement in Wall Street um, when it was going on by itself. Um, so they have some first-hand experience with this, but for a lot of people here, this is a brand new experience. Um, and I think that some people came in with certain expectations or ideas of what it what was going to be like, and those ideas may not have been met, but they were replaced with new things. Um, I mean, when we got here, you know, everyone just kind of was in this, like, I like to call it a honeymoon phase where everyone was really excited, there was a lot of positive energy, and, and things kind of just got done. Um, and now as we're moving on, um, people are starting to realize that things aren't, you know, going to get done on their own and I think there's this positive attitude starting to spread around where people are starting to realize that everybody has got to kind of chip in. Um, I haven't heard much in the way of people who have changed their mind in the negative direction who don't want to be here, um, but I mean as for the occupiers, uh, most of them are starting to actually... Um, for lack of a word, they're starting to grow into their roles here, um, and everybody really is. I mean, um, we had a camp reconstruction um, to help organize tents, get them closer together. I mean, it, it's been a positive thing, and we're all still learning. Um, but what's really surprised, nah, what's really nice for me to see is how much of the public is actually looking at this, and, and you know how many of them have positive attitudes about it. Um, we're seeing new, I'm seeing new faces, I'm here every day and, and I'm seeing new faces every day. I'm seeing some of the same faces of people that are coming and bringing donations. But the public, the public reaction to this movement has been nothing short of a miracle. I mean, I, I never expected to get the kind of response and support from the outside community that we've been getting. And, and um, it, it's a sure sign that you know whether or not people are here to stay and help occupy that they're understanding in their own way the reasons why we're here even if the governments of the world don't understand it and even if the media doesn't understand it um, somewhere is inside their subconscious or even in their conscious front that they're understanding why we're here and, and they're relating to that and they want to help create that positive change in the world too and so they may not be down here 
but they're coming in and they're bringing their support in their own ways. Some people are bringing money, food, t um, tents. We have tents been donated, tarps. And I think that, yeah, on a, a, as a general statement that everyone is actually take, moving forward in a positive manner despite some of the setbacks we've had like today um, with all this rain it, it's been you know it's been a real stress on a lot of people um, people are becoming frustrated easier and, and you know it's to be expected um, we're not the most organized group but every day and every minute that we're here we're becoming more and more organized we're starting to realize what specific need, things need to be done more regularly than others. Um, we're learning how to better equip ourselves with how we're setting up tents, how just even the logistics of it, where the tents are located and how close they are together. We're learning all these things and what's great about that, that all these things are happening is, uh, is that the reason that it's so positive is because these are things that people get paid in the real world to do, you know, um, architecture, um, construction, things like that, you know, people are getting paid cash as their incentive and motivation to do this out in society. And what we're seeing here is people leaping to their feet, volunteering with no expectation of a reward other than a thank you or a hug. And, and I mean, it just goes to show you that the mentality that people have that we need some sort of financial reward to be motivated to do things it is it's outdated and it's dying very fast so the attitude of people right now today is a little low morale's a little low um, but it's to be expected and uh, we're only gonna come back stronger we're, we're gonna get through this and we're gonna learn from this I mean I've already learned um, I helped set up this wonderful first aid medical tent and uh, it isn't without its flaws um, so even I've learned from this whole experience um, things that need to change, things that need to get done. Um, but that's what our Occupy and all the other movements, whether they're Occupy movements or any sort of demonstration that share our solidarity, is that you know we're all growing into this. This is something that our generation has never had the chance to see firsthand it at such a grand scale. I mean. The 60s had the peace movement, um, you know, led by great men like John Lennon, and, and in the early part of the 20th century, we had Gandhi. We had great men of peace, and we weren't listening to them. And we didn't listen until they were gone. And now we're seeing that again, this whole take care of your brother, or, or, and that's what it is. And, and unfortunately, there's that stigma when you hear your brother's keeper to associate that to communism and then to associate that to Stalinism, and, and really, Taking care of each other it has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with economics. It just it, it's just good sense. I mean, um, you can go out on your own and say you can survive in the woods all by yourself, and you don't need anybody. But somewhere along the way, you're going to need a hand. Um, in the end, either you'll last for 30 years, and then you'll get old, and you'll need help, or something to that effect. Um, but basically, what it comes down to is that we ta it's time we start realizing that and I hate to say it because I've always been a die-hard capitalist, but capitalism has had its time. It's brought us a lot of great and wonderful things. It's created wonderful attitudes in some places. It still has a lot of very valid truths to it, um, but as a whole, it, its time is outdated and it's time to be replaced just like feudalism was replaced by capitalism some time ago. Um, and it, that's hard for me because I'm an objectivist, I'm a big Rand fan um, who preaches the capitalism or, or death, pretty much. And uh, so that's been a real struggle for me, especially to, open it, to admit it openly, um, because it's something that I've always preached, it's something that I've always been um, for. But it just goes to show you that, you know, given time to absorb the information and to understand it and, and to see more than just the one side of it that even the most stubborn people like myself can uh, their ideas can be changed um, you just gotta give them time and that's what we need to do here is there's a lot of people that we need to reach that are gonna need time to deal with all of this so awareness oh, awareness that's right spreading awareness spreading awareness <laughs> thank you very much no problem at any time awesome all right we all as a community got together and took down this big ass Thing that was like that except it was made it was one of those flimsy little wedding tents cover thingies 
but uh, the wind was getting too strong, so we had to take it down to replace it with that one. Nice, sturdy, stable, able to take the wind. That's, that's a good idea. So uh, let's go this way with it, and then that way. All right, where are we going, Stuart? Three. Sure. Three. Oh, watch this thing. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> it wasn't very helpful. Oh, no, it's okay. I saw your uh, your interview there. That was good. Oh. Uh, on the uh, CPV. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. That was good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, they kind of cut it right on the side. I know, I know. Like, why not pull it back? I could have had that yeah, pull. Well, everybody, that concludes day number, what are we on, six now? <laughs> um, as you saw, I wasn't able to get a whole lot today. Uh, the rain really puts a hindrance on being able to do anything uh, in regards to the occupied Nova Scotia. Um, so I tried to, you know, see, stand around for a little while and see if anything popped up or if any randomness seemed to happen, but nothing really was going on. Everybody was kind of just uh, trying to stay dry, you know, just trying to stay warm. Um, but I'd like to thank John for allowing me to take the time to uh, ask him a couple questions. Um, he seems to be really uh, informed and really knowledgeable and passionate about, uh, uh, about what's going on and what he believes in. And uh, a few of you really enjoyed uh, the last interview I did with him, so I thought it would be uh, a good idea to see uh, after a couple of days where he stands and where he's at and everything. So uh, hopefully tomorrow it's not raining. Actually, let me check that right now as I speak to you guys. Tomorrow there's no rain forecasted, so hopefully tomorrow. Uh, no, not hopefully. We will have a better uh, video for you guys tomorrow. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm looking at taking a more active approach uh, to me being down there. Uh, so you guys have seen the last couple of videos. I'm, I'm helping out where I can and uh, you know trying to uh, you know just be courteous and help those who ask for help and uh, you know not just stand around uh, like I was the first few days and taking everything in. Um, I'm also looking at uh, possibly getting involved in one of the groups uh, to take a more active approach, uh, take a more active role uh, in these protests and see where that goes. If you want to bring something to donate, uh, they, they would greatly appreciate it. I myself brought uh, two pairs of jeans and a petition book. Uh, for those of you who are wanting to get more involved, just go online or watch your local news and uh, see where yours is being held because I'm pretty sure in almost every major city there's a uh, occupy occupation going on so uh, just look for that also down below in the description of this video of this video I also put the links to occupynovascotia.org and the Facebook group as well uh, so you guys make sure you go check that out if you're in the area and you want to attend so that will be it for my occupying ass. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And by the way, I created a playlist for those of you who are following this on YouTube. I will call it Occupied. There you go. So look for that playlist, Occupied. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So stay strong, stay wise, folks. Live free. Peace.